I am Pam Williams and I'm in my 22nd year of teaching. Um, I've taught a, a wide variety of, of grade levels, middle school, elementary school, and now I'm at Appling County High School in Georgia. And I am, this year, I have the honor of working as an instructional support specialist. So I am now working with other teachers to help them as they transition into all the wonderful new things that are coming about in education, one of which is the student longitudinal data system. I often have people ask how can the SLDS help us and through the 22 years oh my gosh at the times that I've had to go into the vault um, every school has that vault area where all these records are kept and they're very um, obviously very secure and very private and they can't leave that room and so as a result though teachers had to go down to that vault to be able to gather information on their students so at the beginning of every year every teacher is going down there collecting that data. Um, has the student ever been retained? Has the student been in, dif in, in different s school systems? How often has the student moved? What does the student's attendance records look like? Um, is, is absenteeism a problem? What are some of the issues that I might need to be a little proactive on to go ahead and head them off this year? So when you look at an elementary teacher that may be a class of 25 students if they are self-contained teaching that one set of students at a middle school where they're teaming, it could be a team of a hundred students and Maybe the teachers might could divide that task, or maybe not. You may want to go in and get that information yourself. At a high school level, that could be as many as 100 students per semester. And so it's to go down to that vault at the beginning of each semester and dig and get all of that information, uh, which can be a huge challenge. Now, through the longitudinal data system, it's a right click at a computer. And there's none of that time spent in the, the transition of going to the vault. And then also, it's at my fingertips. Whereas, you, it, you know, in the past, I had to actually write all of that down because those records are sacred. They don't leave the vault. So the notes that I had were there for my reference for me to pull back out and now I don't have to worry about all of that. It's right here for me to be able to access. And that way my time is better spent doing what I'm actually trying to do, which is teach.